Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel. I am Gaurav here and that's the 13th video of this series. So in today's video, we're gonna rotate our player using mouse inputs. Yes, I know in the last video I was told you that the next video is gonna be about giving a weapon to our player. And actually it was, but then I noticed that I messed up with the player rotation and player movement inputs. So in today's video, we're gonna fix that mess up. So let's get started. But first, as I always say, if you are new in this channel, then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon, it's absolutely free. So here is our project and that's our player. Let's give him a weapon. But wait, look at that, there is a little problem with our player movement. You see that currently our player rotates when we press A and B button and also in the same time, it moves left and right by using these same buttons. But Look what happened here, if I try to run away from our enemy, you notice that it's very hard to control our player and also it's hard to keep focus on enemy, right? So let's fix that issue. Jump in the player movement script and here all the way down in the process input function where we are calculating wire rotation. So we need to change that line instead of using same inputs for horizontal move and for wire rotation. We will use separate input for wire rotation. First of all, let's come in that line and this time we will use mouse inputs to rotate y axis. So how we will achieve that input? Well, it's very simple and very easy. Let's see here. We're gonna use input.caraxis then in it we will take mouse x and you might wondering that how I know that well to know that let's head back to the editor and here in the project setting you see that there's a mouse x so this name should be the same on our script no spell mistakes right okay so avoid mistakes just simply copy paste that name in the input.caraxis as a string just like we were done for the horizontal and vertical inputs and here because now we are using completely separate inputs for wire rotation so we also need a separate variable for regulate rotation speed so let's create that variable serialized field private float mouse sensitivity ah it's very hard to pronounce okay and initialize it with the 200f and multiply it here and also multiply time dot smooth delta time and now we can check it okay so let's head back to the unity let us compile and hit the play button and here you see we can rotate our player by just moving mouse side to side that looks pretty awesome right okay now our first problem is fixed so now let's focus on our main target because now we want to get the ability to fire projectile from the player so so first of all we need to create a focus point the that thing which like the red dot on the center of screen um it's a crosshair crosshair very difficult to pronounce so let's create it right here click on the hierarchy tab and in the ui search for canvas and click on it and now here you see we got two objects on our hierarchy first one is canvas and second one is uh, event system um it's just around there and uh, we don't really need to focus on it although it's a part of ui for now just forget about event system but don't delete it okay so let's rename the canvas and we'll name it crosshair canvas makes sense because it's gonna be crosshair and underneath that we'll create the image component ui image and let's rename it to crosshair because eventually it's gonna be our focus point which is crosshair and now let's give it an image i downloaded that image from the google for creating our crosshair i'll give that link in the description box you can just download it or you can make it by your own it's fairly simple but before we just drag and drop that image on it first we should change its texture type to sprite 2d ui otherwise it will give pretty weird behavior and it is not gonna look good so let's change it and don't forget to hit apply button and now we're ready to apply it on our crosshair okay now it looks pretty big as a focus point so let's shrink it down and here i'll half its size to 50 on height and width but it'll all up to you and now you see that the crosshair not on the right place you know it should be in front of player right well we are getting that kind of behavior 
is because our player and the crosshair are in the same position main center of the camera so how we will fix that well now i have two options first one is that i just move my player slightly to the right or left or either hide the image when i'm not aiming and show it when i'm aiming right so the plan is that we will only use crosshair if we will aim to enemy or anywhere else. So let's create a script and uh, name it weapon zoom and add that script to the player. Now open it on the VS code or visual studio. Okay here first of all we need some variables. Let's create a variable for camera CLS field private camera and name it underscore camera and now for the canvas, CLS field, private, canvas, crosshair, canvas. And um, we need two more float type variables for camera zoom in and zoom out. CLS field, float, cam zoom in, and I'll initialize it with systs. And second one is cam zoom out, and I'll give it 20. And now you might notice that I just created two variables in same line. Well, yes, we can do that. We can create more than one variables in one line if their types are same like in this case both variables are float type variables so it's fine let's create a logic for zoom in and zoom out in the update we will use simple if statement so the condition is that if we press right mouse button then the camera will zoom in else zoom out and also we want our crosshair canvas will enable when zoom in and when the camera will zoom out then the crosshair canvas will be disabled so simple right okay so let's do that in the update function if input dot get mouse button one then the camera dot field of view and now here it will take camera zoom in and crosshair canvas dot enabled gonna be true else the camera dot field of view equal cam zoom out and crosshair canvas is gonna be disabled as it should be and now you might thinking that what's a field of view right well to know that let's head back to the unity and let it compile and here on the camera you see that there is a field of view slider which is currently set to 60 now look what happened when i increase or decrease its value you see that effect it looks like some kind of time travel tunnel like or speed warp pretty cool no so now hit the play button and here you see when i press right mouse button um we aren't getting desired effect let's see which mistake we have done oh yeah actually what i want here look whenever we will press right mouse button somehow i want to move our camera a little bit further like somewhere on our player's forehead okay so how we will do that well to know that you need to stay tuned with us cause in the next video i will reveal that logic and also we will create a logic for shooting projectile from our player so till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll meet you in the further upcoming videos for now see you later